energy. It's all about energy. Energy rules our modern life and how we supply it will be one of the defining aspects of the 21st century. The great scientist Isaac Newton taught us that energy is neither created or destroyed. It just gets transformed from one form to another. All of the energy in the Earth comes from that, the Sun. The Sun is a remarkable source of energy. The heat that hits the Earth in a single minute is enough to provide all of mankind's energy requirements for a whole year, if only we could capture it, store it, and move it around. This glass of petrol is an incredibly efficient energy carrier. The energy in this half litre is equivalent to all of these logs over here, 47 of these very expensive lithium-ion laptop batteries, or 240 of these very, very heavy car batteries. Or me running up and down these steps a thousand times. No way. And that's why oil is so very, very valuable. It packs a lot of energy into a very small space and it's very portable. Which is why billions and billions of pounds and an awful lot of human ingenuity goes into finding the stuff. How did it get there? And how do we get at it? That's what drives a lot of people who live and work in this city. The University of Aberdeen has been at the heart of this historic city for over 500 years. And our experts have been involved with the oil industry since the early days, providing research, training and consultancy in all aspects of the business. These boxes contain slices through a drill core that was taken from four miles below the North Sea in 1971. And that core was absolutely instrumental in the discovery of the iconic Brent Field. By studying this core, we can delve back into the mists of time, 160 million years ago, to a time when Europe and America were part of a huge supercontinent that was not split by the Atlantic, when dinosaurs were roaming the lands, and when the whole of the North Sea was a huge tropical delta. That delta had beaches just like this, where the water was filled with thousands of plankton and algae, which captured the energy of the sun. And as they died, they settled down through the water column and produced an organic layer on the seabed. That layer then gets covered with sediment until it gets buried to a depth of six or seven miles below the surface, where the pressure and the temperature metamorphose the bodies of the plankton and algae to produce oil and gas. All over the world, geologists are looking for oil. It's tough enough when you're drilling onshore, but when your target is miles below the seabed, the water is nearly freezing, the waves are 50 foot high. It takes the smartest engineering we've seen since the Second World War to find it and produce it. At the University of Aberdeen, we're delivering world-class graduates into the oil and gas industry because our staff are world-class, many of them with experience of working in the industry. So the people delivering our teaching are the same people who are working with the companies to solve real-world problems on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, here's a few facts and figures for you. 
The UK oil and gas industry employs about 400,000 people. There's 25 billion barrels of oil still left in the North Sea, and we use about half a billion a year. So there's no doubt that this is a big industry and it'll be around for decades to come. And as we transition into a low carbon future, who better to manage and build offshore installations, dispose of CO2 in the subsurface, and work out the legal and economic frameworks for a new energy industry than the experts who did it for the old? The energy industry needs innovative, world-class graduates, not just geologists and engineers, but lawyers, business managers, economists and environmentalists. Industry demand for highly trained workers is as great as ever. The University of Aberdeen can provide you with the skills you need for a long and successful career in the energy sector. Come and be part of that story.